Hello everybody, it's Mr. Parsons and it's another math talk. Um, and this week we are working on division, the box method part two. Um, and it's, uh, in case you haven't, this is the first time you've seen it, you can go back and look at the last video, but I'll probably go over everything pretty step by step, uh, so that way it helps you. So we have three questions we're gonna work on today. Uh, and the first question is 368 divided by six. It's very similar to the questions that you were asked to complete last time. And then I have two other questions, a little bit more difficult. I have 3,542 divided by seven and 2,962 divided by eight. So those are more difficult questions. And when you have to work, when you work on uh, your assignment this week, there's gonna be two questions that are three digit by one digit and two questions that are four digit by one digit, okay? So it's a little bit uh, more challenging this week, and uh, but I'm sure it will you will do very well. So I'm gonna hand the phone off to my son, and then we're gonna go over these three questions, and then you are gonna work on them yourself. Okay, so the first question we have is 368 divided by six. So um, we know that the box method, if you watched the video last week, is very similar to the box method multiplication and also very similar to the big seven that we're reducing our dividend down by multiplying with friendly numbers the divisor. So I'm going to set up my box for the very first question. Okay. And I have 6, which is my divisor, and then 368, which is my dividend. That's how you set up your box uh, to start off the, uh, your question. So I'm looking at 6, and I want to multiply it by a friendly number to reduce my dividend to 368. And I always think about smaller numbers, so 3 times 5, that's uh, 30, and it's, that would take me a lot of boxes. So I'm going to think uh, a little bit higher. So 6 times 10, 6 times 10 is 60. That's a little bit better. I'd probably only have about 7, 8 boxes there, but I think I'm going to go up a little bit higher, and I'm going to multiply by 20, because I know that 6 times 20 is base is... 6 times 2 is 12, plus my 0 is 120. Whenever you're multiplying multiples of 0, you just add the 0 at the end and multiply the first two numbers there. And I also know that 6 times 10 is 60. 60 plus 60 is 120, so that would mean that it's 6 times 20. So that's what I'm going to work with at the beginning, so 6 times 20. So I'm going to put my 20 up there because that's what I'm multiplying my 6 by. And then 120 because 6 times 20 is, uh, 6 times 20 is 120. So we'll subtract. And then I'm going to go 8 minus 0 is 8, 6 minus 2 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. So my dividend has been reduced from 368 to 242. So I know that 6 goes into 242 many more times, so I'm going to extend my box. And then I'm going to carry my dividend up here, 248. And then I'm going to multiply my 6 by 20 again because I know that 120 can go into 248. I can reduce that dividend by 120. So I'm going to go plus 20. I'm going to put my 120 here. And then 8 minus 0 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So now my dividend is down to 128. And I know that 6 goes to 128 a lot more times. And um, uh, it actually, 6 times 20 is 120. I know that 120 goes to 128. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to extend my box. I'm going to carry my 128 plus 20 again, and then I'm going to put my 120 here. 8 minus 0 is 8, and I have nothing left because 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So I know 6 goes into 8 just one time. So I'm going to extend my box one more time, and I'm going to go 6 times 1 is 8, so I'm going to put my 1 up here, my 8 minus 6, 2. 6 does not go into 2. I know that's my remainder. So my answer is going to be 10, uh, 20, 40, 61, remainder 2. However, um, you can stack it off up, up to the side just to make sure. So 20, 20, 20, 1. 20, 20, 20, and 1. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 2, 4, 6. 61, my remainder is 2. All right. So I know that my answer to 368 divided by 6 is 61 with a remainder 2. I'm going to switch up my pencil. Or my ink. Right here. And I'm going to do the next one. Now this is where it gets a little more challenging. Uh, so it's 3,542 uh, divided by 7. So I'm going to start my box off. 
again. A little bigger. Put my seven here. And I'm going to put my 3,542 here. And I know that this is my dividend. This is uh, my divisor. And the answer that I hear over here, that's what we call a quotient. Okay? So I need to think, what am I going to multiply the seven by? I have a nice friendly number to reduce the 3,542. I think seven times five, but seven times five is only 35, and that would be a lot of boxes, and I don't have enough room. Well, seven times 10 is 70, and that reduces it a little bit quicker, but uh, again, 70 would be a lot of boxes, and I just don't have the room, and, and I think I can find a more friendly number to reduce the dividend more, uh, more efficiently. So 3,542, what about seven times 100? Well, that's 700, and I know that 700 reduces to 3,542 a little bit quicker. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to put 100, I'm going to put 700, making sure that I'm lining up my 1s and my 10s and my 1s, and I subtract 2 minus 0 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4. I can't take 7 from 5, so I need to borrow from my neighbor. 3 turns into a 2, and the one, the 5 turns into a 15. So 15, subtract 7 is 8, and 2 minus 0 is 2. So my new dividend is 2,842. I know the seven goes into a full pile more times and I can do the exact same operation one more time and reduce it again. So I'm gonna extend my box and I'm gonna carry up my 2,842 and I'm gonna uh, uh, multiply seven by 100. Sorry about that, with my dryer. And then I'm gonna put 700 here and we're gonna subtract again, two minus zero, two, four minus zero, four. 8 minus 7 is 1, and 2 minus 0 is 2. So now my dividend is 2,142. Um, but I know, again, 7 goes into 2,142 a lot. And in fact, I know I can multiply the 7 by 100 and subtract 700 from that, that, from that um, number. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again, plus 100 over here. That's what I'm multiplying the 7 by. I'm going to carry up my 2,142 put my 700 in, and then I'm going to subtract and reduce that dividend even further. 2 minus 0 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4, I can't take 7 from 1, I make the 2 into a 1, the 1 turns into an 11, 11 minus 7 is 4, 1 minus 0 is 1. So now I've got 7 goes into 1,472 a whole pile more times, I know that for sure, and I can do the exact same thing I just did. So I'm going to increase my box. There was my dryer again. I'm super sorry. And I'm going to do the same thing seven times, 100. And I'm going to put, bring up my 1,442 to the top, which is my new dividend. I'm going to subtract 700. And then here we go. Two minus zero is two. Four minus zero is four. I can't take seven from four. I have to borrow. I make the four into a 14. 14 to, uh, minus seven is seven. I'm down to 742. And I know uh, that zero has nothing to do there. Um, so that's my new dividend. I know seven goes into 742, a whole pile more times. And I have 100, 200, 300, 400. Uh, and I know that seven goes into two, uh, 3,542 at least 400 times. But let's reduce it one more time. I know I can do seven times 100 one more time. Increase my box and carry up my 742 like that. Plus 100. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. So one, 7 times 100 is 700. And I'm going to subtract 2 minus 0 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4, and I'm left with 42. Well, I know that 7 goes into 42, uh, and I know now that 7 times 7, uh, it, it, that's too high of a number. That's 49, but 7 times 6 is 42. So I am going to extend my box one more time. I'm going to carry up my 42. I'm going to put up my 6 here because I'm going to multiply 7 times 6, and that's 42. And then I'm going to minus. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 is mi uh, minus 4 is 0. And so my remainder is 0. Um, so if I take a look here, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 6 with remainder 0. You could stack them off to the side, but that's pretty easy. So your answer is 506 with remainder 0. Okay? see here we have one more question I'll change the color uh, and I'm going to do 2,962 divided by 8 so I'm going to set up my box one more time uh, 
going to put my 8 here. That's my divisor. My dividend is 2,962. And I'm going to start again. Like I always do, what can I multiply the divisor by to reduce my dividend? A nice friendly number. Well, 8 times 5 is a friendly number. 5 is a friendly number. But I know 8 times 5 is 40, and that's simply too many boxes. So I'm going to go 8 times 10 is 80. Well, that reduces it a little bit faster, but again, that's a lot of boxes. So why don't I do 8 times 100? Well, I know that 8 times 100 is 800, and that will reduce the 2,960 to the dividend much quicker. So I'm going to put my 100 up here, and I'm going to do 800 down here, because that's what I multiplied. 8 times 100 is 800, and then I'm going to subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2, 6 minus 0 is 6, 9 minus 8 is 1, and then 2 minus nothing is so nothing so 2162 is how much is left in my dividend well i know that i can multiply 8 times 100 uh, and it's going to be 800 and i can reduce that number even uh, further so i'm going to go 2162 and put my plus sign i'm multiplying 8 times 100 again put my 800 here draw my line 2 minus 0 is 2 6 minus 0 is 6 i can't take 8 from 1 so i borrow 2 turns into a 1, the 1 turns into an 11, eight, uh, 11 minus 8 is 3, and 1 minus 0 is 0. So I have 1,362 left as my dividend. I know 8 times 100 is 800, and it would, uh, I can put it into 1,362 and reduce it even further. So I'm going to do the same thing again, extend my box. I'm going to carry my 1,362. I'm going to multiply it by 100, the 8th of the divisor, put my 800 here. And then I'm going to subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 minus 3 I can't do. So I need to subtract. I need to borrow from my next door neighbor. Make 1 into a 0. The 3 turns into a 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. All right. So now my divisor is down to 800, uh, 562. But I can't multiply 8 times 100 because it's 800. And it's bigger than the 562. So I am going to use a smaller number. I'm going to half that. So... 8 times 50 is 400, and 400 is definitely smaller than uh, 562, so I can do that. And the reason I know that, 8 times 50, well, I know that 8 times 5 uh, is four, uh, 40, and then add my 0, and that is 400. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to extend my box again. And then I'm going to go 8 times 50, I'm going to put my 50 up here. And I'm going to put 562 up here because that's what the dividend was left. And then I'm going to subtract 400 from that. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 minus 0 is 6. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. So my dividend is now uh, down to 162. And I now need to use a different number because 8 times 50 is 400. And I, I can't do that again. So I'm going to start thinking about a smaller number. Well, what about 8 times 10? Well, 8 times 10 is 80, and I know 80 uh, can reduce 162. So I'm going to do that. Bring up the 162, as I've done every single time. I always bring up your dividend up there like that. And 8 times 10, so plus 10. All right, and then and that is 80. I'm going to subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. I can't take 8 from 6. I borrow from my neighbor. 1 turns into a 0. 6 and uh, turns into a 16. 16 minus 8 is 8, and I'm down to 82. Well, I know that 8 goes into 82 a whole bunch more, but, and I also know that 8 times 10 is 80, and 80 definitely can go into 82. So I'm going to do that one more time. Bring up my 82. 8, put my 10 up here. And that's 80. 2 minus, and we're going to subtract. 2 minus uh, 0 is 2. 8 minus 8 is 0. So I know that's going to be my remainder. So I have uh, 100, 200, 350, 60, 70. 370 remainder two, but you can always stack it up on the side and go 100, 100, 100, three one hundreds, 50, making sure I put it my five and the tens and my zero and the ones, and then I have 10 and 10, and I can add. So all those are zeros, zero. So five, six, seven in my tens, and three in my hundreds, so 370. So the answer is 370 remainder two. Excellent. So I hope everyone's doing well. Um, that's it for this week. Uh, this week's uh, math uh, number talk. 
and uh, hopefully we're back together uh, soon. Um, and uh, everyone take care, exercise your body and exercise your mind. Thank you.